I'll, I'll start off with a comment, just following up on Mr. Fraser's uh, questions. Uh, we already know that uh, fraud is covered in the criminal code. We already know that the police can prosecute. And we have uh, several cases. If you look uh, on uh, do Google search, you can find uh, cases of fraud that are being followed up on right now and prosecution. So uh, I'm just going to put aside the idea that there needs to be some draconian enhancements to uh, to force people that have uh, gotten uh, gotten the emergency benefit uh, to uh, to penalize them put them in jail uh, fine them uh, already the criminal code covers that so I, I think that comment is important because I, I don't like this dialogue that that somehow uh, penalizing people that are in desperate straits putting them in jail when if there is systemic fraud, they can be prosecuted already. Uh, that is the solution, and that's why uh, we certainly won't support any pr draconian provisions in any omnibus legislation going much. forward. Uh, because I just want to go to the issue of prosecution of fraud, tax fraud, the tax avoidance. Uh, the parliamentary budgetary officer last year told us it's $25 billion dollars that Canadian uh, that the federal government loses every year that was the conservative estimate they made at the time I am sitting uh, here in New Westminster BC right next to me is the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists their offshore leaks uh, database and I just want to ask about because it's very detailed it has all the list of Canadian corporations uh, I want to start with the Panama Papers how many of the corporations named in the Panama Papers part of the offshore uh, tax leaks uh, database have been charged by CRA? Um, we have confirmed publicly that we have uh, a small number, and I believe we've confirmed publicly there are five criminal inv investigations underway. Um, at this point, uh, given people's legal rights and the aggressive criminal defense in these cases, uh, we haven't brought any to the charges oh, of late face. Okay, Th thank you. I ju yeah, just wanted a quick answer. Uh, now, the Paradise Papers are also listed here, hundreds of Canadian corporations. How many corporations in the Paradise Papers have been charged? Um, I again, I, I think... Uh, we haven't confirmed publicly the exact number that we have under criminal investigations. I, I think the point needs to be made, though, that many of these sophisticated taxpayers um, paper over their tax planning with multiple legal opinions and law firms. And so I, I think it, it's not for a lack of willingness on the part of CRA uh, to pursue these cases criminally, but I think it's the forethought of the perpetrators to kind of um, uh, really paper over what they are doing to make it very difficult and complex to bring out uh, criminal charges. Well, and, and that's my point. So no, nobody's been charged in the Paradise Papers. Uh, I know for a fact nobody's been charged in the Bahama Papers. Uh, the Isle of Man scam, uh, CRA's response was, uh, was what? In terms of the Isle of Man scam, how many of the corporations involved have in been charged? three cases, uh, or four cases, Panama, Paradise, Bahamas, and Isle of Man. 100% of the taxpayers named uh, were risk assessed by the, the audit function. And based on the facts and the current jurisprudence and current Canadian law, um, we believe we took whatever action we could. In the case of Isle of Man, every single taxpayer who was found to be uh, non-compliant with Canadian tax law uh, has been put through audit. Um, and uh, both kind of tax and gross negligence penalties are, are being levied. And so I would say that the facts of that situation um, uh, have driven the CRA response. Okay, just a very quick question to end, Mr. Chair. So $27 million obviously is not enough, and the draconian powers shouldn't be given to, to go after widows and students. Uh, they should be given to CRA so that the big tax cheats can actually be charged. It's, uh, it's uh, appalling that the hundreds and hundreds of corporations, not a single one has been charged. And so would it not be better to put a lot more money into auditing and to have powers given to CRA so they can go after the big tax cheats? 